What's up guys? Me and Jonathan closed on our house today. So I figured what better way to introduce you guys than to show you a new tour of our house before 99% of the renovations or whatever you want to call them we do. I figured I would show you. So let's get into it. As you can see, Jonathan has already pulled out the carpet because he's been here all day and he's right there at the window. I don't know if you can see him, but anyways, this is our front yard. It's a little tree and then we'll just go inside. Hello, new homeowner. Hello. <laughs> trying to tape. So this all used to be brown carpet. I know like in this, it kind of still looks like it, but we're gonna put like vinyl floor in here. But Jonathan had the day off. So he went ahead and ripped all of it up. And he is now taping around all the windows and the ceilings and all that good stuff because we're going to paint because it's a little dirty and we don't really know. Like it just needs touched up. Like a lot of stuff needs touched up. This is a disclaimer. This is our first house, so it's not huge. It's not super fancy. So if, so you're, gonna, with if you're gonna be mean to us for having a small, not super fancy house, well, get off my video. That's all I gotta say about that. So anyways. So this is the front door, obviously, and I'm standing in the kitchen. And the plan is to put the couch along this wall and then we have a love seat that's gonna go over here and there will be an end table here and an end table here and then there will be a recliner here and our TV is gonna go on the wall. We got a super big one and then like a little entertainment center right here. And we're just gonna paint this wall like a beige color, I think. It's kind of already a beige color, but we're just gonna touch it up. And then we're gonna replace the light bulbs because I don't know if you guys can tell you probably can't in this video, but it's super like orange and I don't like the way it looks. So we're gonna change that. Also, the people that we bought it from, there was a spot on the floor that needed fixed. So they just like replaced the whole floor in the kitchen, which was really nice because we wanted to do that anyway. So now we don't have to. This is the pantry. I'm gonna move this chair so that they can see it. Oh. So this is the pantry got a bunch of shelves in it we need to clean them off obviously i don't think anyone's lived here in a hot minute no. or they were just really gross not sure which but that's the pantry and then this is the kitchen the fridge and the stove came with the house um their counter like the kitchen's not very big but it'll do for now and we are planning on painting these cabinets like a dark gray or light gray i'm not sure and then we're gonna do the top dark or light like they're gonna be opposite of each other and since there's not a lot of counter space and there's not really anywhere for the microwave to go we bought this thing to go right here ow i just hit my head on the wall we put this bought this thing to go right here that the microwave will go on and it'll also give us some more cabinet space and then we're gonna build a table and it's gonna go right here it's gonna be a high top table with bar stools you're making a lot of noise while i'm talking He's working. And then this is where the washer and dryer will go. Kind of weird that it's in the kitchen, but this house, like I said, is not very big, so. And then this is just the side door. As you can see, our driveway is literally right there. So you walk in and it's just this little space. We'll probably get some stuff to go on the wall right here for like our keys, maybe a little table, depending on how much room we have when the door opens. I didn't really think of that yet. But like down here, you can see like the walls need to be like wiped off and then we're gonna repaint like I said before. So it's really cool that the stove and the fridge came and they replaced the sink. So that's pretty much all brand new. And then the sink overlooks our backyard. Ignore the disgusting windows with the cobwebs, but there's like a little outbuilding and then this is our whole yard and then it still goes out over here a little bit that you can't see right now, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Negative. It's a third of an acre, but you know what? It's going to be enough. So then when you go off the kitchen, 
It turns back to carpet. Let me turn the light on. You can't really tell. So this carpet is what was in the living room. But obviously he's already ripped that up and it's outside. So it's carpet in here. And we're not going to change this. We're just going to get it cleaned because we like carpet in the bedrooms. So this is the first bedroom and it's very small. We're not going to actually make this a bedroom just because as you can tell it's tiny. And by the time we put a bed in here there wouldn't really be room for anything else. So this is probably going to be our junk room. What are you doing? This yeah, Jonathan is six feet tall. How tall do you think you are with your arms outstretched? So it's like maybe eight feet wide and clearly not very long either, but it does have a closet that I'm probably gonna use as my own because the closets are kind of small. As you can see, this one I think is the smallest just because it has the air duct thing poking out, but I'm probably gonna make this closet my second closet. So across from this bedroom, there is the bathroom. And let me turn on the light. Oh, that's not it. Oh, that is super bright. So we've got these lights and I actually am planning on keeping these because I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're super, super bright. And they're like, it's, it's just really good lighting. So there's a medicine cabinet over here to put stuff in because there's not really any other cabinets other than this. And so this is just a little old and outdated and we are planning on replacing this whole thing. We've already bought a new one. So this one is also really short. As you can tell, it doesn't even come up to my waist and I'm used to having one that's that tall. So we're getting a, a new one or we have a new one and it's probably like up to here, I would say. And it's a lot cuter than what we've got here. And then obviously the toilet and the shower, nothing super fancy. We are gonna repaint here again, just to touch it up. And then the floor is just gonna stay the same because it's small enough that it really doesn't matter. Plus it's a bathroom, so who really cares? And then there is a like storage closet and we were gonna put cabinets above the toilet, but since there's this closet, we're probably not going to now. But um, as you can see, there's just shelves and we can put towels and washcloths and toiletries and all kinds of stuff in here that is not going to fit under the sink. So next is this bedroom. This is just like the second bedroom, but it's actually the biggest bedroom. This isn't the master, but it is the biggest. So me and Jonathan are actually going to make this our room. We're going to keep this carpet. We're just going to get it cleaned. Um, my plan for right now is to have the bed right here and a nightstand. I was going to do a nightstand on each side, but because this room is still, again, not super huge, we are going to put a dresser on this side. And I think if there's a dresser and then the bed is in the middle with nightstands on both sides, it's going to be way too crowded. So we're just going to put the dresser here, I think, and then put a nightstand here and the bed right here and then have this space open. Maybe put like a little like butterfly chair or something or just some other storage. I'm not really sure yet. We're going to have to get it all in here and see how it fits. How are you feeling? Yeah, I got a headache. You got a headache? We're also going to replace these lights at some point, but I'm not really sure when, so. Nice titties, but. Yeah, they're the titty lights and we're not really a fan. So, and then since our bed will be this angle, we're going to put a tall dresser right here. It'll probably come up like this high. And then we're going to put the TV across here so that when we're laying in bed, it's just like a straight shot. And also I like the bed being here because I can look straight out the door and I can see like if someone's coming or something like that. And then this is the closet. Again, it's not a very large closet, but we're going to probably put another shelf in down here so that there will be two shelves and we might have to move this one up a little bit, but we'll see how that works out. But yeah, we're going to have two shelves, I think, because otherwise we're not going to have enough room. And then lastly, this bedroom over here, this is considered the master because there is a bathroom over here. But as you can tell, maybe, I'm not really sure if you can in this, but this room's not quite as big as the one that me and Jonathan are actually going to use. So we're just going to put this as a spare bedroom. We're probably going to put the bed up against this wall or maybe up against this wall. Honestly, it kind of just depends. Honestly, it might make more sense. I'm not sure. We haven't quite figured it out yet. We don't really know how it's going to work. Might go against this wall and do kind of the same thing as in the other one and have the dresser here and then the TV above it. I'm not really sure, but even though this room did have a bathroom in it, the other one is bigger, so that's why we're doing that. Um, and as you can see, the paint in here is kind of peeling, so 
we're gonna repaint this whole room too. We're gonna replace the shower heads and the faucets and everything just so that it's all new. And like, as you can see, it's old. It's been here for a while. And so we just wanna like replace all that stuff so that it's in good working condition. I mean, it still works as it is right now, but it's just gonna look better new. And then there is another medicine cabinet here just for, you know, everyday things that you don't wanna keep in the hallway. We are also replacing this one. Um, this one's a little bit smaller than the one in the other bathroom, but it's gonna look the same. Obviously just a smaller version of what we're gonna put in that bathroom. And again, it's gonna be probably like this tall instead of like way down here because this drives me nuts. So yeah, this is this bathroom. And this is just gonna be our guest room. And then if we do have guests over for whatever reason, they kind of have their own space. They don't have to worry about like messing with us or whatever. And then again, there's storage down here. We considered putting a cabinet here, but we might, we're probably gonna hold off on that for now. Um, we're not really sure yet. So keeping these lights too, just cause they are kind of, they look new and they're super bright and they're actually the color I want. They're not like a yellowy color. They're like the bright white. So we're gonna keep those. And then the last thing in this room, excuse Jonathan talking in the background, is the gigantic closet. This is the only reason I really wanted to even use this room, but honestly, we're probably not gonna have people over that much, so I'm probably just gonna put my stuff in here anyway. Again, we're gonna put in another shelf around the bottom so that we can have two things to use to hang on. And then right here, I'm thinking about putting shelves in for like my shoes and stuff so that they don't have to hang on the back of the door. I think this will be nice to just have stuff. And then another thought I had because I'm not sure if we're gonna have enough room in the other closet. Obviously we can use this one and the other one, but God, Jonathan, you're so loud. I'm locking myself in the bathroom because Jonathan is on speakerphone with his dad, even though I just told him I was recording. Anyways, so my plan with the closet, if we end up not having enough room is to get, or if we don't have enough room in the dressers because the dressers I got are not huge just because I didn't think we would have enough space. So my thought with that was there's like the clear containers you can get at like Walmart and they're like drawers, but they're not like a dresser. They're just clear plastic. They're not very nice at all, but they do the purpose. I thought about putting those in the closet and then I could use that for like socks and underwear and like stuff that I don't have a lot of and that don't take up a lot of space so that I could use the drawers on the dresser for like jeans and t-shirts and things that I have a million of. So that was my other thought of trying to find space for everything. I'm so out of breath, I talked way too fast. But anywho, um, yeah, so this is definitely a work in progress. It's not perfect yet, but we're so happy and our realtor has been awesome through it all. Our lender has been awesome. Everything has been so, so smooth for the most part. Like probably couldn't have been better if we wanted it to be. Of course, there are things that we want to change, but that's pretty much with any house you get, so. We're really happy with it and all the changes we want to do like we can do ourselves we don't need anyone to do it for us so that's gonna save us a lot of money but yeah the main thing right now that we're doing is pulling up the carpet and then we're gonna paint um i think we're gonna paint the living room first my mom's doing a lot of it and then she's gonna paint our bedroom so that we can at least move that furniture in so that we can start staying here because i don't really want to stay here in the middle of like remodeling renovations whatever you want to call it and then we'll move to the other stuff um, so we'll just kind of see how that goes. The only thing left is the backyard. I'll go out there and show you guys that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's our new house. You know, it's not huge. It's not crazy. It's not fancy or anything, but it's just going to be us two and our dog. Like we don't need anything more. We have a room for if friends want to come over, which doesn't happen a lot, but if it did, um, we have a room for that. So, you know, for us, it's perfect. It's our first home. It's not going to be extravagant or anything like that. So we are really happy with it and we're excited to do the projects and stuff because I don't know, I think it'll be fun. Like we already made the headboard, which was super fun. And then we're gonna make the kitchen table as well, which I will also share with you guys at some point. I'm not sure when that's gonna get done. But um, yeah, let me go show you the backyard and I'll end this video. All right, so this is the driveway, obviously with our cars in it and the house. And then it goes to the backyard. This right here, we have to leave available for utility trucks in case they ever need to get down in here and fix anything. But we have about a third of an acre, I think is what they said, and it came with this building. I don't really know what we're gonna use it for. Jonathan talked about putting chickens in it, but who knows if that's gonna happen. So it goes all the way back to those trees with the flags on it. I don't know if you can tell, but it goes back there. 
and then it goes pretty much all the way over to this little like gully thing where my fingernail is um we're thinking about maybe one day turn putting like a deck on but obviously not anytime soon because we don't have that kind of money right now and turning this window into a door but that's like way 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 down the road also this table and chairs so random they just left it here i don't really know why but this is our yard obviously we're gonna fence it in for hendrix i'm not sure if we're gonna do it an electric fence yet or like an actual fence we probably will start with an electric one just because it's cheaper and Jonathan can put it in himself and it won't take days and days and days. Um, but yeah, so our yard goes all the way over to this little thing and then around to the front. Got our crawl space, which is actually a very large opening. Like Jonathan didn't really have to squeeze that hard, so that was nice. And then this is just like a dead end down here. So we're basically like it literally ends right there at that flag. So this is our front yard and yeah we just have a little street and this is our house so yeah that's that's it and here's all the carpet that jonathan pulled up so i'm super super excited all right so this lighting is absolutely garbage and i cannot wait to change these lights jonathan working hard back there but this is our house and here we are in our new home and jonathan working so very hard already right. day one he's working so hard so Help me close it out, babe. Come here. We're homeowners now. It's so crazy. Oh, man, this is bad. It's so right. He's a dude, and he can tell how bad it is. Like, it's terrible. Anyways, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below, and we'll see you in our next video.